Hello everyone, it's Jeff again, and I would like to introduce you to something from my childhood, a wigwam burner. This is a very special wigwam burner. It is in New Bieber, California. And when I was a child and we came back from vacation in Reno or the Redwoods or wherever we were on vacation, we would always pass this wigwam burner. And I am old enough to remember when it was in full operation and you would drive by it at night and you could see the sparks come out of the screen at the top. Every town with a sawmill or a paper mill had a wigwam burner. It didn't matter where you were, Northern Cal, Oregon, Texas, Florida, anywhere they had a sawmill there was a wigwam burner and they were always tended by the town drunk. I guess the townsfolks thought that it was the only job that they could handle. So that was the job they were given. The way it worked was this, as the sawmill ran all day, all the sawdust and the scraps went in the wigwam burner. And when the mill shut down in the evening, the town drunk would show up and it would be torched off and he would sit there and make sure that the fire didn't get out of hand. It was an amazing job for the town drunk because the townsfolks after the fire got going would come back and would bring a few beers and would visit with the town drunk and they would throw their trash in the wigwam burner and get rid of it. On warm summer evenings it was where all of the town's gossip was exchanged and back slapping occurred and the sharing of cold beers. This one is the one that I most remember because it was at the junction of two main roads and coming home in the evening after our vacations, it would always be fully ablaze. There would be pickups parked around it. They would be swapping stories and drinking beer. It was part of my childhood. You could see the glowing screen at the top for over 20 miles when it was fully ablaze. Air quality regulations in the 1970s caused wigwam burners to go into disuse and now they are crumbling relics. It would be difficult for me to explain how important these structures were to me in my youth. They were a part of the community around me almost everywhere I went. I feel an immense amount of loss that these structures are no longer used. While I know we are immensely better off as far as air quality without them, I do feel a loss of community occurred when they are no longer used. When I pass the remnants of these structures now, I silently wonder what town drunks do for a living now. I wonder where hunting and fishing stories are swapped now. I silently wonder as I drive along this desolate road in Wyoming, if there is anyone else out there remembering themselves as a small child driving through towns and seeing the welcoming sight of a wigwam burner in full blaze and all of the people around it. Be good to one another, think good thoughts, do good deeds, and I will see you again.